This lesson is what is hopefully a review of scientific notation, something you should have picked up in one of your math classes at some point, but this can help you in case you've forgotten some of that stuff. First, I want to review what decimal notation is. Uh, decimal notation is what you're used to, frankly, whenever you see numbers as you're used to writing them, 582, 40,000, point zero zero eight two zero four those are written in what we call decimal notation is what you're used to. We can, however, write those same numbers in scientific notation if we so choose. Uh, the 5.82 turns into, I'm sorry, the 582 uh, would turn into 5.82 times 10 to the second. The 40,000 turns into 4 times 10 to the fourth. And the point zero zero eight two zero four would be written as 8.204 times 10 to the negative third. And what in the world are all these things and what do they mean? Well, we'll get to that in just a second. First, a little review of number places. They all have names. Uh, every number, whether it actually is written out or not, has a decimal point. It's where you change from the <coughs> greater than one values to the fewer than one values, and uh, so we need to know what all the names of the different places are. You probably should have learned these before, uh, and uh, just to kind of look at that real quick, uh, we got the, uh, as you go to the right of the decimal point, those are tenths, hundredths, thousandths, ten thousandths, and hundred thousandths. If you went further, that would be millionths, and then ten millionths, etc., cetera, etc., cetera. To the left, the bigger numbers uh, are the ones, the tens, the hundreds place, the thousands place, the ten thousands place, and the hundred thousands place. The next place, of course, would be the millions place. So what is scientific notation? Scientific notation shows the same number, so uh, they're always the same number. You're not changing what the value of the number is. You're just showing it a different way. Uh, it moves the decimal point in a way that makes it easier to see uh, for incredibly large or incredibly small numbers. We move, the way it works is we move the decimal point until the number that's shown is between 1 and 10, and then we put exponents on uh, to tell how to get it back where it was. And if that doesn't make any sense, we can kind of do some examples here. Scientific to decimal, for example. Now remember, a little review, exponents on the 10 tell you how many places to move the decimal point. And the sh signs show which way. If you have a negative sign, it moves to the left. Positive sign, you move to the right. So here's an example. We have a number in scientific notation, 4.2 times 10 to the fifth. Well, what this 5 tells us is that the decimal number, in order to get the decimal number, we need to move the decimal point five places. Five places, this is positive, so five places to the right. So 4.2 we want to move the decimal point one place, and then two places, and there's nowhere to move it, so we have to add zeros to it. So that'd be one place, two place, three places, four places, five places. So 4.2 times 10 to the fifth is 420,000. That number and that number are the same number. They're just two different ways to show it. Now let's take that same number and let's change the sign. Now we have 4.2 times 10 to the fifth, so here's our number, 4.2. Now we move it five places, but since it's a negative sign, we move it to the left one place. And again, just when you run out of uh, numbers digits, you can just add a zero. So that's one place, two place, three places, one, two, three, four, five. So that would be written as... Point zero 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 four two, and we usually stick a zero out in front of the point. Not that it makes a whole lot of difference for most of the time, but that would be what that number is. Notice that incredibly different numbers based on that sign. Negative signs make really small numbers, positive signs make really big numbers. Now, for this example, this comes up sometimes, what if you have 6.02 times 10 to the zero? Well, how many places do we move the decimal point? Zero. In other words, we don't move it. So this number is simply 6.02. So don't make them any harder than they are. What if we go the other way? What if we want to go decimal to scientific? 
Remember, scientific notation is just a fancy way of showing you how to make a decimal number following those rules that we just talked about. So, let's take this decimal number and let's make it into a... Uh, let's basically show in scientific notation how to make this number. So, the way we do this is we just write the number with just one decimal... Uh, one, uh, I um, said that wrong, write this number, rewrite it, so that the decimal point is in a place that makes the value of the number between 1 and 10. So, currently, where is the decimal point? Well, it's not written, but it's there at the end of the number. That's the decimal point. Now, uh, the way we would read this number is 7,840,000. Oh, wait, that's wrong. 7,840,000,000. I misspoke. So, it is 7,840,000,000. And if we move this over and then we're at a decimal point there, it would be a smaller number. It would be uh, 784 million. And if we move, wrote it here, it would be uh, 78,400,000, uh, and so far, so on and so forth. As we move it left, we make the number smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller. But that's number there. Now that it's there, we have 7,840. 784, 78.4, still a number bigger than 10. So we keep moving it until we end up with 7.84. Now 7.84 is a number between 1 and 10, so that's the goal. So we write that down, and then we simply say, okay, how many places would we have to move this to get it back where it was? And the answer is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So we would write this number as 7.84 times 10 to the ninth. Why positive nine? Well, because we moved it to the right. We made the number bigger. It's a big number, so it should have a positive exponent. Big number, positive exponent. Small number, negative exponent. And so that's an easy way to check whether your sign is good. Now let's look at this one. Here we have 0 0.0825, so this time again we need to make the number between 1 and 10, so we do that. Currently, this time, in order, our decimal point here has to be moved to the right. So now it's 0.825, that's still not between 1 and 10, so we move it again. Now it's 8.25, that is between 1 and 10, so we have 1.8.25, and then we have to put it in scientific notation, so we say have times 10 to the... And again, we ask ourselves, how do you get it back where it was? Well, currently the decimal point is here. We, in order to get it back where it was, to make our decimal number back, you would move back two places. But, notice that it would be back. We'd be making the number smaller. We would be moving to the left, so we need a negative sign, and that is how you would write that number. As far as this class goes, for any homework you have, you may always give either a decimal or a scientific answer unless the problem is specifying. You know, obviously, if the problem is asking you to give a scientific notation number, you can't give a decimal number. But for any kind of calculations that we do later in the year, or we get into problems, it never matters what format you give the answer in, as long as it has the correct value and the correct number of significant digits. What are those? Oh, wait and see.